Not now, Lassie. Dad said he was going to fix that string when he got back. But I'm going to surprise him. OK. Why didn't you say so? I'm Andrew Leeds. I'm Will McCulloch. Well, are you going to let me in, or do I need an engraved invitation? I'm not supposed to let anyone in unless I know them. But I'm expected. But I'm exhausted. Sorry. Animal shelter? No, I'm sorry. We close at five. Mrs. Chastain? Yes. Hi, I'm from the employment agency. You called about some. Thank temporary... goodness. Uh, my daughter's in labor. It's my first grandchild. Oh, congratulations. But I don't think you understand. That funny looking mixed breed is our first priority. There's a procedures manual on the desk, and I'll be back as soon as it happens. <laughs> Forget it, Buster. We already have a dog at home. <laughs> Hello, um, Glen Ridge Animal Shelter. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, what's up? Mom, some man's outside and he wants to come in. Will, you remember the house rule? I do. That's why I'm inside and he's outside. Mom, he's not very happy about it. Well, you do not let him in. OK. I'll be home as soon as I can. All right, bye. May I help you? If you are the woman of the house, yes. I was trying to tell that boy that I had a very good reason for being here, but if I may say so, he seemed a trifle slow, and he did not seem to get it. Oh, he got it, and that's why I'm here, Mr. Leeds. Andrew Leeds, and you are Mrs. McCulloch? Yes. Mrs. Stephen McCulloch. No, Stephen's my brother-in-law. Oh. Oh, well, he told me to meet him here. We're supposed to collaborate on a story. Well, Stephen doesn't live here, and as far as I know, we're not expecting him. Oh, I should have known. Oh, I, oh I'm very sorry. Now, wait a minute. Why don't you come in while I try and reach Stephen, and we'll try and make you as comfortable as we can? Well, presuming it won't take you too long to get hold of him and that it won't inconvenience you, uh, I will accept your invitation. <laughs> Even you've done it again. Oh. This isn't what I expected at all. The bed's kind of lumpy, but the sheets are clean. I guess I could tidy up a little bit. I could make more room in the closet. Oh, no. Oh, well, that won't be necessary. I'm used to living out of suitcases. Your, your name sure sounds familiar. Do I know you? Hardly. Come on, Les. Checks in. Could you ask him to call his sister-in-law? It's urgent. <laughs> Thank you. Mom, 
Will says there's a strange man in the house. Temporarily. He's sort of a friend of your Uncle Steve's. Who didn't even bother to let us know he was coming. Well, I'm trying to track Steve down now. Megan, how would you like a part-time temporary job? You mean like a chore? No, I mean like a part-time temporary paying job. One where you can make a lot of people happy. What's the catch? You might fall in love. Poor Willie's been trying to fix that train all day. I think we'll hear from Steve soon. The two places that always know where he is have no idea how to find him. Which means they'll either be here tonight or in South America on Thursday. Let me assure you I am no happier about this than you are. Well, it's not that I'm unhappy. It's that we weren't prepared for you. You know, Mr. Leeds, I know I've read something of yours. Uh, have you always written articles? No, not always. Your husband keeps late hours. Oh, he's away on business. He's a contractor. How nice for him. Please, get, could you get her away from me? Come on, go on outside. Then you stay there. I'm sorry if she startled you. She was just trying to make friends. I'm not very good around animals and children. You don't like them? I didn't say that. I said I'm not very good around them. If you'll excuse me, I uh, should finish unpacking. Hi, honey. How'd you know it was me? Oh, I don't know. ESP, women's intuition, or because you said you'd call at nine. How's it going? Well, uh, there's a job here, all right, with a huge construction firm. But? But it's not exactly what I was looking for. It's working for somebody else again. Well, tell them to go fly a kite and come on home. Miss me, huh? <laughs> yes, especially now, thanks to Steve. What's he done now? supposed to be in here tonight. I was almost asleep, and then suddenly this animal... Lassie's really... not just an animal. She lives here, too. Oh, look, get him out of here so I can go back to sleep. Now. Lassie, come on. I heard Lassie. What's going on? She won't come up. He's really upset. He just threw us both out of her own room. Try and go back to sleep, Will. As soon as I reach Uncle Steve, we'll make other arrangements. I wish Dad were here. There you go. Thank you. Oh, isn't he just darling? What's his name again? Falcon. Oh, Falcon. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Falcon, Bye. we're going home. You want to go home? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Annie. How's it going? Mom, this is the best job I ever had. I mean, it's just great seeing people leave here all smiles, hugging their new pets. Thanks so much for hiring me. Oh, somehow I knew it would be the perfect job for you. Isn't he great looking? Uh, Megan. <laughs> 
so far, nobody seems to want him. Oh. If it were me, I'd just take every single pet home. Uh-huh. If there were room for them. <laughs> well, right now we're one over capacity. You mean that man Mr. Leeds is still there? When I left this morning, he was still asleep. He doesn't like us. He doesn't even like Lassie. Everybody likes Lassie. What's with this guy? One minute. Why should you keep looking at me like that? Mr. Leeds, we have to talk. Please, I, I'm trying to write. I really must insist on silence. You know, Mr. Leeds, you're rude. And you're difficult. You're very uncomfortable here. You've made us uncomfortable in our own house. You just come in and take over. I haven't been able to reach Stephen yet. But until I do, perhaps it would be better if you stayed at a hotel. I will be leaving in the morning. Let it never be said that A.W. Leeds outstayed his welcome. A.W. Leeds. Right. Yeah, her brother. Yeah, Carla. Yeah, it's Andrew. Mom. Hi, honey. Come here. I want to show you something. Magazine articles, reviews. Carla, uh, I was wondering, could I come and stay with you for a while? Well, we haven't been close, but we are family. Oh, yeah, of, no, of course. But I understand. Oh, yeah, I'll be sure to stay in touch this time. Oh, I, I, be sure to give my best regards. Carla? Oh, Carla. The door was open. Is it okay if we come in? Yes. Edward and the Banyan Tree by A.W. Leeds. You're him. A.W. Leeds, you wrote this. I've read all your books. But you're not the A.W. Leeds you should be. He loves animals. And kids. I'm not A.W. Leeds anymore. I don't write children's books anymore. They're good books. When I wrote those books, I had a wife and a son. He would have liked them well. I love them. One day last year, we were going to go to a baseball game. I was delayed, and I phoned to tell them to go ahead without me. On the way there, a pickup truck jumped a center divider, and they were gone. While I was arguing with my publisher, they were being hit by a driver who had one drink too many. I'm sorry. 
Well, since then, I've had a little trouble living with myself. That's why I don't write children's books anymore. Mr. Leeds, you wrote about bad things happening to people. But you always said, no matter how bad things looked, you can be sure there'll be a train full of rainbows at the end of the line. You really have read my books, haven't you? I believe them. Bessie's silly. She thinks all she has to do to cheer someone up is put her head in their lap. Oh, no, I don't know uh, if Lassie's so silly. I'm beginning to feel better myself. Just like when I read your books. anybody up. Right. Hey, what's the story on this friend of yours? I wrote you, remember? No. Three weeks ago, I sent a letter. Didn't I? Oh. Mr. Leeds, I presume. And you, sir, must be Chris. And you're late. Isn't that Will's West Coast flyer? I thought it was broken. It was. Can you see them? See what? The rainbows. When we first met, I told you I thought your son was a little slow. I couldn't have been more mistaken. I would like him to have this. A Will and a Way by A. W. Leaves. Be sure he reads the inscription. I think he'll like it. Good luck, A.W. <laughs> Let's keep in touch, Andrew. Sure thing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you taught me something about my books, Will. I should read them more often. Come on. Come on.